Hello again everyone, Bear from Bear Reads Books. Welcome back to my channel for another book review. It's the third book I've completed in 2020. We're really moving through them fast, but please don't expect this all the time. <laughs> it just so happens that I've had some downtime from work and, and I've had not so many jobs around the house, so I've had plenty of time to read, or I should say that I've created lots of opportunities to read. So I've been polishing off a lot of these books early in the year. Um, I don't think I can sustain this pace though, so maybe not, don't expect so many, uh, but I'll certainly be doing reviews of everything I finish. But this book is Outline by Rachel Cusk, and this is the first of, a, of the Outline trilogy. So I think it goes Outline, Transit, and Kudos are the three books that, that uh, follow a creative writing teacher as she travels to Greece in this first book, as she travels to Greece to teach a class in creative writing to a mixture of foreign and Greek students. And there she meets and has discussions with all kinds of interesting people. Doesn't sound so interesting on the surface, but if you dig a little deeper, it is done in a way that I've never read a book being done before. It's written absolutely beautifully, by the way. The, the prose is, is amazingly crisp and so precise. Uh, and, the, and the conversations are all one-sided. And this is where it, it kind of gets into territory that you would never have experienced before. And you never really find out anything about the narrator, about the person, the, the creative writing teacher. Uh, what you do find out a lot about is the people that she meets and the people that she has conversations with. But those conversations are always one-sided. It's not necessarily that the person never speaks and everyone just talks and talks and talks at her. But you sometimes get that impression and maybe that's trying to say something about the world we live in today where people just talk at you all the time without actually listening, listening or conversing. Um, but in this particular novel, the narrator is almost being completely removed. We know just enough about her, uh, like that she's had some kind of, uh, some, some sort of relationship breakdown. She has children back in London, uh, that her, and that there's some sort of grief or tragedy there that we're not quite sure about just yet. And that's really all we know. And we know that she's traveling to Greece. Uh, she's not, she's not escaping it from anything as far as I'm aware and she's, she's teaching a class. And the kinds of people she meets are her classmates, uh, the people that she's teaching, the guy on the airplane, uh, the, the guy on the airplane as she's flying over to Greece, and he's, a, he's an interesting character. Uh, some friends that she catches up with while in Greece and their friends that they go out and have dinner with. And invariably, they're, they're these very involved, very intelligent conversations. There's no vacuous conversations here. There's no empty conversations here. Although there are some pretty shallow characters that she meets, usually friends of friends. So she goes out to dinner with a friend and who brings along another person and the person that they bring along is just uh, not my cup of tea. <laughs> I'd be pretty annoyed at my friend if, if, uh, if my friend brought this person along to dinner unannounced. But uh, it's, uh, it's, but these conversations are witty and intelligent, but they are completely one-sided uh, because the, the narrator has been completely removed. And it's such an interesting way to engage a reader. I've never encountered that before. I think she's trying to say something about how people relate to each other in a modern world because the meaning of the, the title, Outline, isn't referred to until right at the end where she she refers to herself as feeling like she is only an outline, that almost like a husk that she's been scooped out and the only thing remaining is, a, is, a, is an outline or a, or a drawing of her, that she's become very two-dimensional. And that's how she feels about herself, not about other people that she meets and converses with. Um, and it's a very, very interesting premise. Uh, and the, the characters she meets are very engaging. Uh, and I'm going to give this book four stars. By the way, I just chopped. I should have should have said that at the beginning. I'm going to give this book four stars. Five because it's not five, even though it is so beautifully written. 
it's not five because I still don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> and, uh, it's probably one of the only series that I've read in recent times and uh, where I've been so engaged that I'm definitely going to pick up the second book. I've been burned on YA series recently, Ali Smith's seasonal uh, four book uh, series. I read the first and I'm just not sure whether it's for me. I, I just didn't get it. But I think I might go back to Autumn, the very first in the Ali Smith series. Whereas this carried me all the way through. I did not have a problem reading it. Some people have, that I've seen reviews of this book on Goodreads and some people have got to the end and thought, what the hell have I just read? It doesn't seem to have done anything. Or I didn't feel that way at all. I feel it's done something very important to set up something that I don't know yet what it is. <laughs> That's vague enough, vague enough for you. Uh, it really is um, a phenomenal achievement. Uh, it says on the back that Outline is a novel in 10 conversations, and it is exactly that. Though. So each chapter is a conversation with a person or a, a couple of people. So it could be a conversation with someone we met earlier, or it could be, ten, or it could be a new character that's introduced, but they are not. But they are not conversations in the traditional sense. They are conversations where we understand very clearly the new character's perspective and the new character's psyche and personality. But we still don't know anything about the narrator's personality, psyche and experience. We know everything about the new character's experiences, but we know nothing about the, about the narrator. And that's such a weird position to be in as a reader. For me, I found it incredibly engaging. I'm going to pick up the second one and the third one. The third one has just been released uh, recently, uh, middle of late last year, sometime. So that's it, four stars for me, with a really big question mark about what the hell is going to happen in the rest of the series. So it's really, it's it's really left me, left me wanting more. And for a modern series that isn't fantasy and it isn't action packed, it's it's not about relationships. It's not it's not a plot driven. It's not character driven. You know, it's, it's really hard to put your finger on what this is, and that's part of why it's four, part of why it's not five, part of why I want to pick up the next one and read the rest of the books. It's an intriguing read. Um, if most of what I said makes no sense, you need to, maybe you need to pick up the book. I don't know. What a, conf what a confusing book review. <laughs> Enjoy your day, everyone. I've got to go. Uh, Wherever you may be, I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.